What if I told you that a simple metal box is actually one of the most important inventions in human history and the one I'm talking about didn't take place until the 1950s? Consider this fact. 90% of all goods in the world travel by ship. That includes everything from cars, food, clothes, computers, furniture, and pretty much anything else you can think of. In 2021 alone, more than 14 trillion worth of goods were transported on container ships. With so many of the most basic things people buy every day traveling by sea, it's no exaggeration to say that the shipping industry effectively keeps the entire global economy afloat. But despite the fact that people have been transporting goods by sea for over 2,000 years, much of the technology behind shipping in 1900 was pretty much the same as it was during the Roman Empire. How on earth could we still have been using Roman era technology for the most critical component of the entire global economy? Well, for thousands of years, everything in the world was shipped in individual sacks, crates, boxes, and barrels, and this process was incredibly inefficient. The typical cargo ship would often spend more time loading and unloading its cargo than it would spend at sea. Why? Well, because each individual sack, crate, box, and barrel had to be stored and removed by an army of dockhands. It would regularly take dozens of hours, if not days, to load or unload a ship's cargo. And this meant that the cost to ship goods was significantly high. For centuries, many overseas goods were something that only the rich could afford because of the cost of shipping. But in the 1950s, something incredible happened that would change the course of the entire global economy forever. A North Carolina truck driver named Malcolm McLean had the idea to take the trailer van off his truck and stuff it onto a ship. In 1956, he took out a loan, purchased two old World War II tankers, and outfitted them to carry the trailers. On April 26, McLean's first ship was loaded up with 58 trailer vans and set sail from Newark, New Jersey for Houston, Texas. McLean was actually there in person to witness his trailers being offloaded in Houston, and the container ship was born. Almost overnight, his containers, as they were soon called, changed the global economy. McLean, who had grown up in a family that was too poor to send him to college, had almost single-handedly reduced the cost of shipping by a staggering 98%. In 1956, it cost $5.86 to move one ton of goods on or off a ship. McLean's containers lowered that to 16 cents. But containers didn't just make shipping cheaper, the process of loading and unloading ships became 20 times faster than before. Now, a container could be loaded onto a ship, travel across the ocean, be offloaded onto a train, and shipped by rail to a warehouse without ever needing to be repackaged. These savings in both time and money have allowed billions of people around the world to enjoy things that were considered luxuries reserved for the ultra-rich just a few decades ago. And all of this because a truck driver from North Carolina saw a new way to use a simple metal box.